Steve Wasadsky with the ACME Lab at Temple University, and today I'll be showing you how to use datamonkey.org to run Busted on an alignment of your choosing. To use Busted, we can just navigate over to the datamonkey.org page, click on the Method and Tools drop-down, select Busted from the menu. You'll be prompted to choose an alignment file, a genetic code, and whether or not you'd like to use site-to-site -site synonymous rate variation. This is the recommended option, but you can choose to ignore it. So today we're going to be using an HIV reverse transcriptase alignment, which uses the universal genetic code, and we are going to be using synonymous rate variation. So then just enter your email address, so that you can be informed when your job is done and click Run Analysis. Then you'll be prompted to select Test Branches. Busted will test for evidence of selection across all of the branches you select as the foreground. So here we want to select um, the entire tree as our foreground, so we can just click Selection, Select All. Then we'll just scroll down and click Save Branch Selection. And Busted will start running your job. And you'll be given this unique URL that you can come back to at any time to check on the progress of your job. Then clicking over to a finished version of the same result um, summary we can see that Busted starts by giving us um, a, a summation of what it found. So Busted, with synonymous rate variation, found evidence of gene-wide episodic diversifying selection in the selected test branches of your phylogeny. Therefore, there is evidence that at least one site on at least one test branch has experienced diversifying selection. Because Busted, unlike our other methods like Neem or Fell, is a gene level method and not a site level method, it's not going to make any conclusive statements about which sites are under selection. But it will tell you if a specific gene is under selection. And then you can use that to decide if you want to run Neem or Fell to figure out which specific sites are driving that signal. So scrolling down, you can see the model fits. You'll see the unconstrained model fit and the constrained model fit. The unconstrained model here is the alternative model of selection, which basically just means that this omega-3 value has not been restricted to be equal to one like it has in the constrained model. It can be greater than one. Additionally, if you want to run Busted with more than three omega rate categories, you can actually do that using the HiFi command line version of Busted and Busted S. But if you just click this little icon here, you will see a graph of the proportion of sites that fall into each rate category um, for the omega rates. So here is the omega-1 rate category with very few sites. Here's the omega-2 category with a lot of sites. And here's the omega-3 category, again, with just a few sites in it. Um, then this dotted line represents neutral selection or omega-3 equal to 1. And you can actually save this graph as either an SVG or a PNG, whichever you want. And that's available for both the unconstrained and the constrained model. Then scrolling down here, we have the model test statistic per site. This is two times the log evidence ratio, where the log evidence ratio is between the constrained and unconstrained model for each site. 
So this is not a conclusive result as to whether or not a site has selection acting upon it, but it is a good indication of which sites are contributing to the overall signal of selection for a gene and how many sites might be contributing. So we actually know that for this reverse transcriptase gene, that the sites from 40 to 240 are where most of the drug resistant related mutations are happening. And we also see that that's where most of the sites that are driving the signal of selection are as well. So just all of these sites with peaks are generally sites that are driving um, this signal of selection over the gene. So as you saw, you can click this graph and actually select a range of sites and it will change and impact how this table below is being displayed. So then you can actually sort this table by like the constrained um, likelihood or the unconstrained likelihood and get an idea of which sites are um, contributing the most to the signal of selection. Again, these likelihood numbers don't necessarily mean that selection is acting on that site. It's just a good indication that, there, that um, there's something going on there. So then scrolling down, we have the gene tree where you can see which branches are in the foreground, so which branches were actually tested for evidence of selection. Um, and that's pretty much all for Busted and Busted S. If you have any other questions, uh, let us know either at our GitHub or at our Twitter, which is at hi-fi underscore software. And feel free to leave a comment below as well. I hope this helps. Thanks.